there's a lot of people entering the market today that are looking to buy a home or even refinance. And one of the biggest questions when people are looking for a mortgage is what is what's the next step? What do I need to do? So let's let's run through those steps real quick. And because during this process, uh, this this is the area that caught my eye. Stop asking me for more paperwork. People get very frustrated along the process because it seems like well, every time I send you something, the following week I need more paperwork and I just sent you that and, and so forth. So let's walk through the, the process on what, it, what entails a mortgage. So basically, let's go through it. I'll just go through the highlights. You're looking to buy a home. Okay. The first thing you want to do is get pre-approved. Okay, there's there's different variations of pre-approvals, but what we do or what we, we try to do is give you a full pre-approval. So what we need from you is that the basic staples of the mortgage are your credit and your income. Okay, those are kind of the the main criteria uh, what you know what you're going to qualify for. So you'll call me up. We'll go through a mortgage application. Um, I'll go through your, you know, I need your birth date, social security number to pull your credit. I need your pay stubs and W-2s and tax returns to uh, see what your income is. And then we want to see how much money you're working with as for a down payment. So I get all of this stuff. And then what I do is I upload it into Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. And then that, it's a computer uh, system through those two entities, which I'm sure you've heard of. And you'll, your loan will be approved or denied. So let's say it's it's approved. Um, we go to the next step, and this is a full application. This is where I get, uh, I send you your applications and everything, and you sign those and get those back to me. Okay, so now we get everything in. You get you find a home, and now the mortgage process starts. So we submit your loan to processing. What they do is they order title work on the property, an appraisal if it's a condo, a condo questionnaire, a bunch of things. They piece together all of the stuff that the Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac uh, system told us we need to validate to approve your loan. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is in English, we take an application, we run you through an automated system, it approves the loan, and then we ask you for additional paperwork. Um, then we send you out disclosures, you get us those disclosures back, now we reference it, it's going into underwriting, meaning it's going into a person who has the authority to approve your loan, review all the documents that we send in, and validate those and okay those. Um, and this is this process. So we submit it to underwriting. Again, we're going to uh, the, your background, your appraisals. We want to know the attorneys involved. Uh, did you have the house inspected or, or anything of that sort? We get all of that stuff together. The underwriter goes through it and um, they'll approve it. They are, they go by the guidelines of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So if you ever hear me reference it, well, Fannie Mae guidelines or Freddie Mac guidelines are this. That's because this is probably where 90, 95% of the money comes from. Okay, so then they'll approve the loan. Um, and then basically you're, you're on your way to closing the loan. Here is a lot of the uh, pieces where people kind of get confused. Like here, after underwriting. A week prior to closing, the lender is going to do a verbal verification of your job. So you have to be employed. You have to be employed at the time um, a week before when they call to validate those things. Is your credit report too old? Uh, some cases it's good for 90 days. Some cases 120 days. Um, are your bank statements too old at this point? You know, it, there was a delay in some things and, and the appraisal took a little longer. There was some work needed done in the house. So now... Um, 90 days, if anything is over 90 days old, pay stubs, bank statements, we're going to need to update those things. Um, and then once we get all that, everything is new, everything is fresh, uh, everything is within, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, you close on your loan and you're pretty much done. And I won't go through any of this other process. But that's the, the basic criteria of the loan application. So I hope I cleared up some things from you. Again, get pre-approved. You find a house, you get me the contract, we gather all your documentation up, put send it to um, processing, they piece it all together, stack it in a certain order for the underwriters. We send it to an underwriter who has the authority to approve your loan. We order the appraisal, we get the title work from the attorneys, all that comes together. Um, 
prior to closing, they make sure everything is valid within 30 or 60 days of uh, the dates, like pay stubs, stuff like that. A week before closing, they'll validate your job, and then you go to closing. So again, um, it could be a frustrating process, but you know, I always say it's like when Dad told you, you know, do this, and you say why, and he says because I said so. If you if you take that mentality going into this, it makes things so much smoother. So hopefully we can be of some help to you. If we can, please give us a call at 630-338-1160 or visit us on the web at 1160mortgage.com. Take care. Have a great day.